All right, you have your animal outlined on the tracer, and you should have a line drawing with no value that looks similar to what I have right here of my turtle. You're going to be using this as a reference when you work on your final here. So for the final paper, this is a watercolor paper. It's a little bit thicker, and I have a half inch border on my paper all the way around with my name on the back on the bottom right hand corner. When I go to draw my final animal, I want you to have good composition. That means I would like the animal to take up a majority of the paper and be interesting. I do not want your animal dead center with lots of space around it. So think about, do you want to put it off to the side? Do you want to have part of your animal go off the paper? Is it going to take up the whole piece of paper? What I don't want to see is the animal dead center. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull my animal over to the left a little bit. And I'm going to start my drawing very lightly. Good, so that's where I'm gonna put the animal. Now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna go through and do this drawing as quickly as possible. All right, phew, my turtle is done. I went a little bit quicker just to show you what I want, but I expect you to take your time. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna see what else I could add by looking at the photograph. There may be some stuff that I missed while I was working on the light board. I might see just a couple extra shapes but I think I'm pretty good. So now what you wanna do is you just wanna go through and you make sure that you don't have any shapes that are just way too small to glue. If you have any details that are just too small, you can eliminate them. This detail right here, I'm never gonna get glue in that spot. They're gonna to run together. So I'm gonna close that off. These spots are just too little and I'm gonna close this up. So now my drawing is complete and I'm ready to start gluing.